I will assume you've read the passage, it can be inferred from the passage that young people became involved in protesting working conditions in Appalachia's coal mines because... Where do we find out about that? That's paragraph one. And we find out about them becoming involved. Um, so we have uh, young people were uh, began organizing themselves, and um, then they initially separated from their adult counterparts as they organized their own labor strikes, um, drawing attention to children working in Appalachia's coal mines. And then we also find out that this um, youth-driven activism occurred as young people became primary movers within a specific area of the labor movement. So primary movers, so they became the leaders. So that's the history then of getting involved in the working conditions, this, this specific area thing. Okay, so, so why, how, how did that happen? Did it happen because A, young people thought that working toward better labor conditions was more important than working towards civil rights? Civil rights are mentioned, but that's later on. It's not in the um, Appalachia's coal mines business. That's a separate issue. Uh, B was it because adults were occupied with other labor protests. Therefore, young people had to take on leadership roles. Well, it does say that they became prime movers in a specific area of the labor movement. And so they became the, the leaders. Choice B is a possible explanation for why that would be. Let's look at the other ones. Um, was it because young people have more time to devote themselves to social causes than adult activists? Well, that this is a tempting answer, except, of course, we're talking about how they were protesting how children were working in the coal mines. If everybody's working in the coal mines, nobody has more time than anyone else to protest. So it's not C. Um, adult activists were more concerned with education reform than they were with children's labor exploitation. Education reform is something in paragraph 2. Um, not part of paragraph one and the Appalachia's coal mine stuff, so false comparison. And then E, adults had exploited young people in the past and the youth activists did not want to see it happen again. Uh, this echoes some of the concerns at the end of paragraph two, but again, this is outside the scope of the uh, working conditions in Appalachia's coal mines. That leaves only choice B as an explanation or an inference of how they became involved in protesting the working conditions.